Our next talent is going to be a stand-up comedy, and she's a professional stand-up comedian that has toured all around America and also Palestine. Let's give it up to Marina Hassin. And after 10 minutes of explaining it, he looks me in the face and he's like, Yaba, I know you. You're very beautiful. I am sure you will come back home with a husband. <laughs> and, uh, I love my dad. I really do. But I feel like sometimes we just, uh, you know, cultural barrier. Okay, I'm an immigrant. I, I spent the majority of my life, actually, in two third world countries, Palestine and Texas. <laughs> I don't know, first of all, I don't know why you guys are laughing. I, how many of you are from Arizona? I don't know why you're so happy. <laughs> Honestly, I was like, why in the world are we doing a Miss Ira of like in Arizona, of all the places on earth? I came here and I was like, oh my God, it is just like Palestine. <laughs> it, except it's faster. Like instead of like an 18 hour flight, eight hour time difference, difference you just come here and like, boom, you're home. Minus all the, you know, the, the food. I'm, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. Um, I have enjoyed my time here. Thank you guys so much for welcoming me here. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I am the eldest of six kids. I've met the other five. They're pathetic. <laughs> the ones that are not laughing are one of the other five. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I grew up in a very small town, majority white people. I'm sorry, again, I don't make the rules. And my mom taught me almost all the English that I know, which is really cute, um, because I know things like um, top tank instead of tank top. <laughs> and what do you want instead of I love you? <laughs> Everyone that's laughing has a lot of childhood trauma, guys. <laughs> Uh, you know, one thing she did not prepare me for is when I went back to Palestine. I was back there in August this year doing, you know, a, a comedy tour across Palestine. And there's a lot of things that I just wasn't ready for. First of all, excuse me, I know it's haram, but I've dated a white guy. Don't judge me, we'll all make mistakes. Okay? But dating a white guy is so easy. Like, after 10 years, they'll be like, hey, you know, after 10 years, maybe I'll, I'm, I'll think about introducing you to my mom. But an Arab man will see your shadow, and he'll be like, I want that one. <laughs> and I'm going to build your house on top of my mom's house. It's very, it's emotionally, it's like, you know, highs and lows, highs and lows. One of the other things that I really wasn't ready for when I went to Palestine is that I thought that I was Arab. I thought, I was like, Marina, like, you, was, you were born there, you know what you're doing. Y'all, what, what are the addresses? <laughs> How do you navigate through life? I wanted to go to the ice cream shop and I had to be like, listen, do you know where the library is? Okay, you go down the street, you take a left, you have to pass the school again. It's like, it's, it's like 72 characters. It's an unnecessary amount of information. I told my uncle, I said, Wallahi, like, I know what we're going through in Palestine, but if, if, God forbid, I have to go somewhere, I'm gonna have to just call an Israeli, okay? They know where everybody lives. <laughs> I'm Marina Yala. Thank you guys so much for having me tonight. Give it up for your host. 